everybody, J&A Review, and today we're at Triple HRV here in Haleyville, Alabama. If you just found our channel, go ahead and subscribe, follow along with us, and give us that thumbs up. Today, oh, we're going to be looking at a 2024 Gulfstream Amerilite Ultralight, model number 275 FBG. So let's get started. The length on this Amerilite is 30 feet. The dry weight is 5,100 pounds, and that hitch weight is 710. Yeah, so now, it's been a little while since we've done Amerilite. It has been. Uh, something you're gonna notice right off the bat, there's no slide on this one. So if you're looking for something that's easy to set up, you just get there and unhitch, hey, <laughs> come check this one out. Now, no, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, these are a fiberglass. Were they not? I thought they used to be um, like a stick and tin yes, inside yes. siding. So okay. um, I thought it was just me, but I wasn't sure. Fiberglass may be something new, but it may be. Could be, but hey, right up front, here's your two propane bottles. Um, and it is a manual. It is a manual jack, uh, but you could easily add an electric jack if yep. you really wanted to. All right. Coming on down the side. Here is well, one that's side. Pretty nice. well, yeah, this is a pretty good size um, pass-through storage. You are going to have manual jacks on this one also. Hey, slam locks. But you got slam locks on it. I so. like it. Wow. Coming on down, it is a dual axle. City connections going to be back here. Your dump area right there. back now there's not a ladder and this one is not prepped for a backup camera so, you... so I don't know if this would be have a walkable roof or not I'm not real sure we're not real sure on that one but they didn't give you a ladder so you may not be able to but now right here at the back well, you... now some of them they don't give you a ladder and they are but so they I, are you know I don't yes. know yes but it's also not prepped for the uh, Lippert ladder so well I can't <laughs> there we go Got you a little fridge. So, yeah, you've got this little mini kitchen out here hey. with a griddle. So, your quick connect is going to be under there where that tag is hanging down. So, you do have a little outside kitchen on this one. I like that. I like the little griddle. Yes. You are going to have a power awning. Uh, we don't know the length on it, but it's going to cover a good bit of your campsite. So, let's. That's probably. Yeah, probably. 15 feet, probably. 15, 18, yeah, it's, there. so it's, you have a very good size awning. The other side of your pass-through storage here, just like that. Okay, they, they did impress me with the slam latches. So I like that's, that. I wasn't quite expecting that at this price point, but you're going to like that too. So hang around, we'll. And let me give a shout out again to our uh, for full circle partnership to get to those uh, channels. Go to our uh, YouTube homepage, go all the way down to the bottom and you'll see them there. And let me give a shout out to one of them, the Roving Veterans. That is Rob and Bethany who live full time in their uh, fifth wheel. And, and they are Rob, both vets. And they are army vets. So shout out to them. And also, Rob is a traveling nurse. The last thing I saw, they were out west. Yeah, they, they've had some pretty cool adventures. So, oh yeah, God. guys, check just, those out for what sure. What was that, uh, the NASCAR event in Phoenix? Yes, they in Arizona, yes. So check those guys out. All right, well, let's go in and take a look at this Amerilite. Now, again, this one has no slides. So if you're looking for something that's a little easier to tow, quicker to set up, this might be right up your alley. Um, Let's, let's just start at the back because it does have bunks. Yep. You've got uh, like double over double bunks back here. Both bunks has got a light and a USB on both of those. The bottom one does have a window and underneath it is actually some pretty good storage. It goes all the way to the back of the unit back there. While we're back here, we'll show you the bathroom. Hey, all right. Oh. Uh, now, this is what we like to call a shove. It's a shower and a little bit of a mini tub. 
So hey, this is not bad. It's not bad. Uh, Jeremy's six feet tall, so actually he's got really good head clearance in mm -hmm. here. Um, so if you have kids, of course this is a monk house and yep. you know they still need to be in a tub or if you're like us and travel with a really stinky dog oh poor dog <laughs> yeah you can use that uh to bathe them pretty easily your heating vent's going to be right there in the floor uh this is going to have a foot flush toilet now it is elevated just a little bit mm -hmm. um but i don't think it's that bad but no well, that's I'm, not for me well, I'm short. I might. You probably need the step stool. Yeah, my feet may dangle, but hey, that's okay. Now, now your sink is going to be separate. So your sink is go. out here. Oh. Wow. And there is a cabinet. medicine cabinet up above it. You do have your plug in right there. And there is some storage, cool storage below it. So if, oh, you need, if somebody needs to brush their teeth and somebody else is in the shower, you're not going to be tripping over each other in there. Um, turning around now your TV backer is going to be here in this corner so your plug-in is all up there um, it can be mounted or if you want to sit it here on this little ledge you can do that this hmm is it not hanging it's not hanging I thought it was hanging but well, I'm you sure can... you could put a small bar in there if you yeah. need that for hanging you can add shelves um, you can use it like it is stack small bins in there so that's hmm. that's some of your storage area. All right. I'm gonna back right on up. Oh. Yeah, you got storage across the top here. Window that does open, and you've got a jackknife sofa. Normally, we tell you that you can um, store things under this one, um, but they did run the water lines. Yep, there to the under sink. there. Yeah. Um, so I would be really, really careful about putting anything under there. Uh, but it does jackknife to make some extra sleeping. Over here on this side, um, you've got your dinette, and it also will convert to make extra sleeping areas. And you got some pretty good cabinets across the top up here. So, actually, pretty good storage. Yeah. Got a nice size window here that's going to look out over your campsite, and all your windows are going to have pleated shades. I am going to turn around. Let me back up down here just a little bit. Well, you went to the wrong side. I did go to the wrong side. You've got a 12, um, 12 volt compressor fridge here. Very nice size fridge mm -hmm. for this um, size unit, actually. Yeah. Your fuses are gonna be down below it. And then in your kitchen area. All right, let me put these up for you. Yeah, you got some storage right up here. You're gonna have um, a smaller microwave in this one. Yeah. Good range. <laughs> Three burner cooktop with an oven. Yeah, there we go. Yep. And you got some drawers. You got some drawers over here. Hey, that's always good. And a spot. And under there. a little spot down there. Yes. Um, let me show you this countertop. So actually, that's that's pretty decent countertop here. So you got to hey, plug in really there. Put my curate, you know. Yeah. So your coffee pot will fit coffee right there pot. in that corner. And let's see. Ah, oh, yeah. Well, hold on. Let me keep going. There is your AC unit. Now this is, I believe, a 30 amp camper. Yes. You're only going to have one AC, and it's not going to be prepped for a second one. So, but um. It's ducted throughout and um, should not have any issues with it. Getting into the main bedroom. This is going to be a queen size bed. This looks like an actual queen size it bed. Like I don't think queen. it's a camp queen. Yeah. So you've got a wardrobe on both sides with some hanging. There is actually a shelf All the way across. across there. You do have storage underneath. Mm -hmm. And again, your heating is going to be in the floor back here. You've got power and USB. Uh, let's see. Yes, yeah. on both sides. Both sides. Uh, you've got windows on both sides, again, with the pleated shades here. And if you would like to add a second TV, it'll go right up there. Yeah. You've got a vent in here. There's no fan in it. And again, it's not prepped for a second AC. Right. Wow. But if you're looking for a great starter camper with a family and you have a budget in mind this could be it um 
All right, so I am going to tell you. So I had a conversation with one of our subscribers, Carlos, keeping it real. And he said something about every once in a while giving out a price. I said, well, it's kind of hard to because we, do we not, don't work for We them. don't work for them. Um, yeah. So all of our information we pull off of their website, the, you know, that everybody has access to. So we went ahead and pulled some stuff off the website for you. So I, as on the website for this camper, the sale price is twenty one nine nine five. That's, That's not a bad, not a bad price. price for, you know, a, a, a thirty foot unit with mm -hmm. with bunks. All right, everybody, if you like this Amerilite, the dealership's information will be down in our description. And like always, if you just found our channel, go ahead and subscribe, follow along with us, and give us that thumbs up. Thanks, everybody.